kill it up. And it's going to do show the equipment, set it up so you can see it. Thank you for buying this equipment. You'll be blessed. I can tell you that now. Manfrotto is the best you can buy. <laughs> Hardly used. Maybe once or twice, that's about it. It wasn't even used. As you can see here. So, we now undo it. Tower quality because it's robust. So, okay, and we can undo. quite high too not that you'll need you might need that height sometimes it goes like that there quality like this pay between eight well it was about probably for a good one like this one you're probably probably paying about anywhere between nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars just for your tripod and that's without anything else see it moves around it's good you adjust it from here so okay we've got that there set bag for it no prob now we get to the camera quality bag this is your camera so what I'm going to do place that on here there just tighten it up to get a bit down here because I can't reach <laughs> as you can see and uh, let's try and get me down to get it down to my size there we go there we go now you got batteries two batteries you got a charger in here got a charger this here is for your the yellow one and you'll see it's connected to the yellow on that side okay so we will Connect that. This is important. It's your zoom. Goes on the handle of your So you got the best equipment. So you're obviously serious. The same, you can't buy these in the shop. You have to get them commercially. They, they are uh, broadcasting levels. So the only way you can get those 
I brought them overseas and had them brought in. Okay. So, now, I'll turn this around so you can see. That goes on there. This here has got to get connected. And you'll see it's got remote up the top here. You push that in. So, and when you're doing your camera work, you can go left, right, zoom, or whatever. So, now, let's just leave that there. To camera size. So we are going by power, etc. Now we're going to put your show gun. You see this? With this, of course, which is brilliant. If I didn't need the cash, there's no way I would have sold it. <laughs> Tell us about it. Okay, there. So, that goes like that. Then what you do is you connect this to here. I've got to set the camera, which you can be able to um, change that. For the manual for this, you have to download them. But they have manuals, it's okay. Okay, I've got it on 1920 1080. That's a very high definition. And if you want to get rid of the readings are showing there, you push display, it gets rid of it. Now you push this here to get this going. Just push it in, comes on like that. Now this is for your Shogun. <clears throat> now, that will show here, you can see it. Now, you see to the right, you'll see this yourself. Just to the right, that's a wave reading over in the corner of it. You'll figure these things out. You can change, format the hard drive. Hard drive is here. It's a um, standard hard drive from the laptop hard drive. Works well for, does it? Does the job really good. But if you want to do 4K, you have to do SDD or whatever you call them, um, get a drive. And you have to get one that matches and can record on 4K. So you've got to think about all those sort of things. So I always format the drive when I'm about to record. I format it so it's totally clear. So you can see here, and for the zooming, here is your hand. I'm zooming now, it's going in, it's going out, like that. Now, if you want to record from here, I'll then you just push record like this. It's recording now. And that's it, basically. If you want to record on that, your monitor. But if you want to record onto your camera itself, you can record on your camera. Just use, you can use your XQD. Now, these are designed particularly. I'd only record on these. And um, <clears throat> so you got two of them, 64 and 32 gigabyte. Here it is recording. Now when you want to stop it, push read again, the record one. Now, when you want to play it, what you just recorded, you push play. Now watch this. It's showing what I just recorded. And 
okay? You can get rid of the uh, wave, by the way, just the wave so that you can see exactly how it is. Now, when you want to stop it, you can push pause there. But then when you want to go back again to record again, you've got to push record and then that will take you back. You see now what's going to happen. You'll see it coming up and then it goes back in. Then you can record again. So as you can see, um, fairly simple. The HDMI here going straight in. Now you've got these two, which is the SDI connections, if you choose that. There goes the SDI connections. So you'll spend a bit of time getting used to this camera because it is a professional camera. Okay, so that's that. Your audio here, if you want to use just for your camera, you've got your shotgun audio. And um, by the way, you've got all your equalizers. So you can sort all that out because you're going to have to get used to it at any rate. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to record now on the actual XQD. Okay, it's in the XQD. Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is actually record on the XCD. You can push record here or you can push here. So I'm recording now straight onto there. I'm not going there, I've just disconnected it for a minute just so that you can see that this records too because there's a process when you put it onto the computer. Okay, so there we go. We've done a bit of a zoom, zoom going in and out. Now, stop recording. It stopped. Now, take this out. Now, this is where you have to, let's get this card out. Gotcha. Now this is what you do have. You have your Sony XQD, because this has to go in here before you put it in the computer. Put it in there. Let's go over to the computer. Okay, so here I am now. Got that disc that I recorded on, and I've put it in here, then I connect it into my computer. This is a Mac one that I use for all my... Now, I plugged it in. And on my here, it's got untitled. Then I open this up, and there it's showing here. Now, I've opened it up. I go into clip, and... Um, Just bear with me here, I've got to find where. I found that it was in clip, I just needed to find it here. And I'll just put it onto here, onto my. Then I got Final Cut Pro, so let's go over to here. So, 
Okay, it's um, Now, you can see, I mean, I put it on my desktop. Now I'm just going to import it. Whack. Now, here we go. Boom. There it is there. So, you can see here, and this footage is just playing it. So you can see, I mean, I, I use Final Cut Pro, but I don't think, one thing that you will have to do is there is a um, so so that's what we just recorded now. So you're seeing it works. Everything's perfect. Just got to get used to the system. So I'll close that now. So we see here it was on the clip I just threw on there. That's been open untitled. Now there is drivers if you've got a Mac, the, um, the particular <clears throat> recording disc that I've got there, the XQD or whatever it is, um, there's actually a, you go online and you can download the driver. If it's for a Mac, they have a driver. If it's for here, they have a driver. But you doing that will mean that you'll be able to access it. Let's have a look here, okay? So, that's it there. The actual clip. So, that's it pretty much. You can see everything goes. Just one other thing, stay there. <laughs> You got all these accessories. Now what I'm going to do, this is what I'm gonna do. A USB disc, I'll send it with it, and it's going to have on it the video that teaches you how to use this, uh, the manual for this, plus also I'll have on that disc the <clears throat> driver, for here, so that way you don't have to muck around. I'll put it on disc and I'll just charge you a little bit more and uh, so that way you've got it. Okay, that's all I can think of at this time. I'll just double check and see what else is in my bag. Okay, that's it. Kaki te.